Okay, we have another Dreamcaster thing. What am I doing? This. You know, I should still be doing smites, though. Yeah, upgrading our mace is probably a thing that's worth spending gold on at this point. Um, yeah, I should I should probably be doing smites so that I can build up wrath, so that if we get into a situation where we're, there's like a difficult, a really difficult enemy to fight, we are ready to drop the five charge divine fury on them. As a person who has played an awful lot of paladins and an awful lot of role playing games, I can tell you it's really important to have your divine fury prepped at all times. Okay, well that's not it's not like a super useful thing for you to do. This conjurer bug has enhanced evasion. I think he maybe should have enhanced it a little further. He went for sort of the middle package, but really, really he should have rolled for the the premium on that one. Well, must you? Why is everybody always trying to gas me in here? It's a dungeon full of monsters with IBS. A noble construct. I mean, I guess, if you say so. Apparently they run away when you shoot at them. Fine by me. Okay, here's the merchant for the floor. That is a barrier cheerleader bald-faced pest. That's hurtful language. I, I'm familiar with that one. Who hasn't in their life? Once or twice. Been called a bald-faced pest. Don't you try to do this thing. I see what you're doing here. Fortunately, we had a free turn. Uh, my attacks can harm nothing but the Wraith. Who used that ability on me? Okay, it was the, it was the bald-faced pest. This text assumes that the only creature that will ever have this is a Wraith. They should probably uh, change this to reference the name of the critter. Well, I think it might be a good idea to do one of these. And then one of these, maybe? Then we have to chase him around a little bit, which is annoying. Uh, you know what? Too many monsters in the room. Yeah, this is, this is not ideal. How much damage am I taking from the... 51. That's, um, significant. We cannot stand in this. I was considering there whether or not I could just tough it out, but I do not think that would be wise. I was hoping that would kill at least one of them. Alright, probably shouldn't stand in that, whatever it is. Boy, I was blind for what felt like a very long time there. Did that seriously not kill him? Man. His enemies are tough. Alright, also I'm blind. Uh, well, we don't have any real abilities, so let's just back off for a second here. Yeah, they're putting me through my paces a little bit. I'm having to at least try. All right, excellent work from all of our mace abilities there. What if the enemy was just always stunned? All right, I need you to stop moving around so much. Let's see what our good friend has for us here. Also, 458. Tell me something cool. Well, a new shield that is definitely better. It's pretty bad, but it's better. Ooh. Bow range increased. 20% chance for level times 10 random element. Jesus, look at how good this thing is. Yo, throw it in the bank. Well, I mean, we'll see. And we're earning ourselves an awful lot of stuff, provided that we actually do make it to the end of this. So we no longer have the ability to get this Spartan Helmet, which is... That's actually pretty good. Uh, I think we're going to buy this crummy buckler, just because it is an improvement. And then teleportation, mint super brew, that seems like a smart thing to buy. Ooh, a curve blade. What an enormous curve. Wonder if I'll ever find one that makes a full circle. That doesn't seem like it would be a very effective sword. Fun to use as a hula hoop, though. Oh, hold on. I did not <laughs> did not want the inventory to close. Alright, yeah, I mean, it's it's an improvement. Alright. He had another relic hunter. 
thing on him, but I don't I don't think we want to take it. To be perfectly honest, it might not even be right to be spending job points on the uh, the emblem that we have in our inventory now. Sorry, that's not the button I wanted. This was the button I wanted. Wait, what is green? What did I miss over there? Oh, it's the Dreamcaster. How much gold do I have? Wasn't upgrading the club 1500? I think I think that's worth doing. Oh, you also have to have an orb. Right, right, right. Why is this still red? Uh, unfortunately, orbs of reverie seem to be in short supply around here. These, uh, these viper monsters are actually very annoying. Alright, and then you get to go... Nope, never mind. I was gonna say you get to go flying, but apparently what you get to do is be banished immediately to the Shadow Realm. Man, I do love Divine Fury. What a good skill. I do love 91 gold. What a good skill. This story about a person very slowly climbing up a forest is driving me mad, I think. You know, I'll, I'll say this about his stories. They, they have a lot of detail. Not much in the way of, like, plot structure. Polish and Shine. What did we just get? Stamina 20, cooldowns 5 turns, instantly remove a temporary hazard tile such as an ice block, fire, or acid pool. Oh! Huh. And it doesn't take a turn to use it. That's interesting. <clears throat> I don't know if that was worth 500 job points, but that's like, a, it's a cool ability at least. Alright, we are done here. And no suspense on this floor. We get the merchant right away. Okay, you need to stop doing that. Huh. I dashed and it pulled me in the wrong direction. Well, I'm gonna polish and shine? Nope, never mind. Apparently not. Even says right on it that it works on ice blocks. I'm gonna look at the merchant's stuff. I was trying to move through it because I, for some reason, thought in my powerful brain that that was a thing I could do. Parish's Drapery. It's light armor, so we're probably not interested. Power increases by... Uh, when at 50% stamina or lower, your spirit power increases by 20%. Does not stack with kinetic magic, which is a thing that I don't even know what it is. I mean, this doesn't seem all that great as a set piece. Reverberate Monsters. The, uh, the, the three-piece bonus. Reverberate Monster summoning two monsters is actually very powerful. Uh, Veil is a cool sword that we don't want to use because our mace thing is way too important. Greedy Mirror Plate of Thorns and Toxicity is a little bit less good against physical attacks, but has that magic reflect. I think we'll keep what we have going. Which means that this guy doesn't really have a lot for us. I'll take this Mint Super Brew. Okay, I guess we're just going to move away from the bee. He has made it impossible for us to attack anything else, but also impossible for us to attack. Uh, for us to attack him. It's like a brilliant strategy, actually. Uh, this is a situation where I think we are, uh, maybe wise to use one of our rare healing items. Let's go for the leg of turkey. Ow. Let's keep that running. Uh, Berserk him. There we go. Get a good stun. Jesus. Um. So he hit me for 165 damage there. We're probably going to die if I don't do something fairly drastic. This is bad, though. And he's not getting stunned as much as I would like. Alright, so we stun him. He turns on Reflect Attacks. Frost spike armor, so that I think that sounds like it's not going to reflect like my attack damage, it's just gonna do some damage to me when I attack. Oh, he went right through the ice blocks. That's not what I wanted. 
That's extremely not what I wanted. And we have to wait over here in a place where he can't, uh, he can't just shoot at me easily. And these snakes are now very angry. Ah, uh, this is not ideal. Alright, maybe we try to burn down the snake monsters real f Or maybe not. Ah. Uh, we do need to get rid of these things in a real hurry. Keep my flask ticking, because we're actually like in a pretty desperate spot here. You must die. It is so very important to me that you die. Never mind. It is so very important to me that I not be standing here. Alright, we'll berserk him. That hits pretty hard. Smite him. Please don't use your lightning powers to draw me out of the, uh, out of the safety of my corner. And we're blinded. I mean, it's only minus 50% accuracy, so I guess we still attack. That's not gonna work for me, though. Oh boy. This is pretty, um, pretty not ideal. I only have one charge of... I think Divine Fury is less good than a mace attack here. Okay. Oh, we still have one turn left on that. I'm just gonna rush him. The alchemical gas in this space should be wearing off soon, right? It was probably... it was probably refreshed when the rest of it was placed. God, we're so close. Just die. No, don't miss. Okay, Jesus. So yeah, tricky. It turns out. No, I don't, don't want to talk to you. Oh, he does have a... You can, in fact, switch places with him. There's totally a command. Yeah, man, what a... What a very difficult enemy. This is where things are going to start getting um, interesting. Interesting is maybe a, a polite way to put it. This is where things are going to start getting really deeply screwed up. And while we have obtained a, uh, a pretty significant number of uh, relics in total, not really any of them are useful to our character when we get back out. And by not really, I mean definitely not. That's not a... that doesn't make that a sentence. You know what I mean. They're, they're bad. They're bad relics. Fine relics for, like, some future spellcasting type character. Ah, uh, let's get rid of you, because something's chasing me. I do so hate a bald-faced pest. They're weirdly hard to hit. Definitely need more elemental defense. The bald face pests are at least worth a fair amount of XP and money. Oh, I didn't quite finish him. Alright, that's fine. That gives me a chance to smite him anyway. Hundred and eighty-eight job points. Feels like they're um, they're coming more slowly here. I guess we've we've been on this floor for quite a while, but we've spent a lot of it fighting one enemy. And honestly, he didn't even didn't even drop that much loot when we, when he went down. Uh, I mean, there's no reason not to do this, right? Unless I I guess I don't know. It might reset our. Uh, I'm gonna drop this like this so it doesn't hit the other enemy. I really want this thing to die. Okay, now. You can die. Yeah, I suppose we should touch it, because we should learn. Okay, it did not replace our old one. I, there's not, We're not going to get any use out of the new stuff, because, um, obviously, we are only equipping one weapon. Uh, after pairing with a sword, you blind the attacker. Counter attacks with a sword inflict plus 50% damage. Slash nearby enemies in a cross formation while entering a defensive stance, which raises your parry for each enemy hit. 130% weapon damage. That's pretty good. And then the capstone, the Soaring Heaven Slash. Okay. 
Raise your parry to 100% dash, do a 175% power to all enemies near the dash. That's cool. We'll never use it, but I, I did want to see... I don't know, if we found a sword that was good enough, I suppose, now it wouldn't be totally heartbreaking to use a sword instead of a mace, but... Hard to imagine, because Home Run is so very, very good. Also, just like, stunning enemies, in general. Why let the enemy have a turn, when you could just not let them have a turn? Right? When I phrase it that way, doesn't it seem so obvious? I don't need to sleep. I'm not... I'm not interested in your nonsense. We're just gonna move on. Yeah, he's gonna rob me. Wait. Okay, the back to Tangle Deep button here doesn't actually make me go back to Tangle Deep. It lets me go up to the next floor, right? Because if we rest here, he's gonna rob us, and I actually do need my gold. But that dialogue box presents the choice as stay here or leave the dream, which it absolutely is not. Alright, you know what? You get the home run. Okay, the Sniper Construct has the body of an enemy that can deal uh, thorns damage to you when you melee attack, but it does not actually have the thorns ability. So we're getting close to the end here. Things are definitely getting harder. And we still have, like, a fair number of class abilities that we really need to pick up. Trying to prevent him from getting away with all these fancy high damage maneuvers. I mean, the, the armor mastery thing is not necessarily all that important because we really do not get a lot of... Damn it. We really do not get a lot of opportunities to use it anyway. We only have the charge, and it's not even very good. But... I do want to pick up all of the rest of the abilities. And remember, picking up Weapon Mastery does at least give us Sanctuary. So we have to have all of our, uh, all of our stuff to unlock that. Alright, something cool. The Mint Fat Brew. Ramirel's Mask. Non-champion monsters can never see you from more than five tiles away. That's interesting. Honestly, though, on the whole, this is not that good of an accessory. Mingi's Resolve. 25% chance to call a lightning bolt with each attack. Plus 25% poison damage dealt. Plus 25 strength and a base power of 262? I mean, that's neat. Target takes 25%. Yeah, like the the whip is cool. It grants the war cry ability, which I don't even know what it is. Put it in the bank. I don't think we need it for this run, but that might actually be a, a thing that this character will use after the run. Then there's a mid fat brew and a scroll of teleportation. Thunder Tincture. Level times 49 lightning damage. Oh! That's interesting. So there's an even more upgraded version of those, uh, of the throwables. Uh, and let's also sell unequipped gear. And then also lots of equipped gear. We have a lot of garbage. Actually, never mind. Not that much garbage. Yeah, if we pull this off, we're going to be uh, very set on equipment for a couple of characters. Again, sadly, not so much this character. Just wait for that to dissipate. I'm real tired of these snake enemies. I'm going to make sure we're standing in a position where he can't attack me from the angle he would like to. Nope, that's the wrong... Mm. I thought my mouse was in a position that would direct us toward the enemy with the charge, and I thought that so fervently that I did not bother to look at what direction was being drawn by the squares. Uh, turns out you should look before you charge. 
If only there was some sort of uh, common colloquialism that would give us this information ahead of time so we don't have to screw up. Electrified Blade Master. Okay, also that enemy just runs away when attacked. I mean, we don't need to fight him, right? If we can just get him to let us through, that works just fine. A Warhammer, which would be a pretty good base item if we were, you know, in a place to be doing base item stuff. Yeah, I hate this area. We gotta, we gotta get out of here. I will say that although that dude is stressing me out by chasing me around, he does, doesn't actually seem to be very dangerous. Also, it'd be super cool if it was not the case that every monster in the dungeon had alchemical gas. Yeah, this dude is totally content to just let me, uh, let me poke him down very slowly over dozens of attacks. Could be worse. That is annoying, though. And I don't have the stamina to charge through. Okay, well then I guess we're just walking through a blade. Ow! Get out of here! Some of the blade in front of me while I'm walking. That's some real trickster god nonsense. Also, sometimes he summons a whoopee cushion under you. Uh, did we just pick up a shield? Yeah, it's just a normal... Okay, it's a normal white quality round shield. We do not need that. Bomb frog. Bomb frog's a real problem. I'm not down with bomb, with bomb frog. Well, I put myself in this mess. Man. Bomb frog uh, is remarkably hardy. For just a random frog that we found. Really super annoying. We might actually be able to kill this guy. Ah, you fool! Random teleportation. Not actually a very good idea. Ah, uh, looks like there might be a room over here. We should we should gather everything we can. Whirlwind, Cheerleader, and Conjurer. Man, Cheerleader and Conjurer go together very well. This guy might be a little bit of a problem. I'm gonna flask up here, and then we're gonna, I guess, just blast him with our one... Charge of this thing. Uh, smite. Stun. Home run. And then charge out of the out of the horrible gases. Ah, uh, these are some tough conjures. And he's like not even wounded. Really wish I had more mobility. Alright, let's smash one of them. Make sure the flask is running. I think a lot of this is going to come down to our ability to hit him with uh, Divine Wrath. Maybe we should just, like, back off until Smite is available so that we can save up charges. I mean, as summoned the creatures, these guys should just cease to exist eventually. Yeah, there we go. Now it's a matter of getting through enough to find the snake. There we go. Alright, just drop this in a position so that it can only hit him, and... He's so close. He's so close to dead. No, you coward! Okay. That's fine. We'll get through. Alright. 
How we just run away from the frogs until they poof. Five hundred and thirty-eight. Do I want to grab? I probably want to grab Blessed Hammer. This gives us another another ranged multi-attack option. And honestly, I'm gonna take this off the main bar. We'll keep it around, but that slot is gonna be for Shield Slam in a, in a minute here. Once we earn enough to have a Shield Slam. Because anything that can stun people is valuable. Alright, floor 12. We're getting close. Well, that's not good. I don't want him to be standing directly on the bullseye angle. I guess I shouldn't be engaging in, in long-term ranged combat with a thing that is called a Sniper Construct, huh? Gotta imagine he has a little bit more experience shooting at people than I do. I suppose we should just flask up back to full. We should be trying to run around at full health. The enemies are dangerous enough now. Killed Blazing Cheerleader. Okay, well that's not that's not that annoying as far as trait groups go. Uh, this is a problem though. The bullseye thing. The bullseye thing is an issue. So he's fire immune, he's everything else resistant. I mean, drop a couple lightning bolts on him, give him the berserk, never mind, don't give him the berserk. That's what I was afraid of. Home run doesn't actually get the job done. Now we have to wait for the ice blocks and... Okay. Ow. Why did I do that? I was like, well, he's dead. Surely it's safe to walk directly into the trap now. Uh, let's berserk you. I'd really love it if you would just die and not make me chase you all over the place. Alright, what timing? We get rich and then we immediately meet the merchant. I keep doing it. I keep pressing the button even though I know we don't have any stamina. You know, it just keeps feeling like some stamina should uh, should occur. We, we should get some. Okay, nothing terribly interesting here. Lots of quivers and whatnot. Might be neat if we could take the stuff with us, but... Let's just keep moving. Hey, this looks like a bad thing to be in. Ow. My face. Hey, that's like way too much damage. Maybe stop that, please. I'm going to do something desperate. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take advantage of a corner here. Line of sight our enemies a little bit. Give me some food. It doesn't have to be super good. Um, let's go for this cobbler. Definitely want some stamina back. Alright, we're going to smite you. Some saving home run for the other guy. And we can do this all day. Eventually, I'm going to get a free turn and you're not. Okay. There's my extra turn. We berserk him for the stun. Smite him. And then... Get out of here. He lived. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay. We, we got there eventually. I mean, I am just taking a lot of physical damage. Our physical defenses are a little bit underpowered at this point. I still can't do... Okay, so I'm se I'm sealed, not blinded. For some reason it uses the same icon. What a decision. Uh, then I guess we smash. Nope, never mind.
Oh good, I'm rooted and also sealed and also a bomb. Some of these uh, randomly generated enemies are actually pretty effective. Combinations of traits that are they're really good together. Really annoyingly, very frustratingly good together. Please stop shooting arrows at me. Okay. We have enough for... we don't. I really want to get shield mastery. I think that would, oh no, I have shield. What am, what am I thinking? It's gray. Uh, then shield slam. Yeah, absolutely. Heavy guard is... Heavy guard is less likely to be useful. We really, really can't afford to be spending stamina on stuff. But again, we do want to accumulate all of the things. So it'd be a real shame if we didn't get Sanctuary. Alright, are we cool for the floor? No, we are not cool for the floor. Of course, there is a really frustrating champion in here, so maybe I should just bail. Okay. There is a bomb. Am I even going to be able to move out of this? Okay, yeah, I do have time. Let's have this running. Fortunately, his resistances aren't particularly effective against us. Also, nothing stops the home run. Please, please let me kill him before he uses... Yep, yeah, seal again. Whatever, fine. We probably ended up roughly even on that. One flask charge for all that trouble. And I mean, we, you know, obviously we get some XP and job points and whatnot. Okay, free mint super brew. Actually, like a really nice find. A snarling cobra. Okay, he's a melee monster. That's a good sign. I have no stamina. That's a bad sign. Okay, we didn't really get to see him do anything there. I think samurai armor might be a type of heavy armor. Please die. Please die and stop dropping mobs on me. Wait, everybody's got a everybody's got a thing, huh? No words for how disappointed I am that he survived that. Right, and never you will never have stamina again. When I hit him with the Divine Lightning Bolt, he may have, uh, soiled himself. Like, violently and explosively. I would love to find the merchant on this floor. It might be the case that, um, it's worth picking up a relic if we find one, like, keeping it. Shadow Grasp, Blade Master, Conjurer. It's a really annoying group of traits for one of these things to have. Alright, this is our opportunity here. Hit him with the stun, then hit him with the home run, with the bait with the bonus damage because he has been stunned recently. Yeah, we might be able to just burn him down real fast. Shield slam him, because like whatever you do, don't let him move away. There's ten thousand spinning blades coming from all directions, and like pretty much unstoppably. This is only fifteen stamina. Yeah, like, there's nothing I can do. I'm gonna get hit by some blades, and if we move away from him, he's just gonna run. Okay. I win. Now it's just a matter of running away from the, <laughs> the conjured enemies. That was a little bit of a nightmare.
Oh, Breaker Golem, I think you may have miscalculated slightly. Okay, there's the floor up. We really do want to explore, though. I mean, enemies who aren't terrifying legendaries uh, don't really do that much damage to us. Like, I think we're exploring pretty close to health neutral, given the little uh, the little heals we're sometimes getting from blocking. Except for when we have to fight something really annoying. Or, you know, one of these guys, under any circumstances. Did I kill him? No, I just bashed him really far away. I think this should... Yeah, that works the way I want it to. I like the fact that when you have uh, when you've stunned them with the mace, the condition they have on them is called temporary stun, alluding to the fact that somewhere there is an ability that allows you to permanently stun your enemies. I guess we call that death. There you go, nature's stun. Okay, what do we have here? A Flow Condenser. That's a pretty high rank base staff. Uh, a Scorched Crystal Blade of Bandit Slaying and Vengeance. This is a, this is a decent upgrade. It doesn't give us uh, the, the same bypass physical resistance, but it's quite a bit more damage. Next attack is much stronger if you miss is pretty cool. We would get the sword traits instead of the mace traits. I mean, I really like the mace traits, but this is a lot more damage. Let's buy it. It's not even really that expensive. Frost scale bubble half plate. Well, I mean, half plate's less good than full plate. It says it right on there. Another thing that refers to dragon limit. Don't know what that is. I mean, the expansion's called Dawn of Dragons. I assume that it's a thing from this expansion, but don't know beyond that. Uh, let's go ahead and put the Scorched Crystal Blade into slot 3. And we'll maybe use it some of the time? It's probably better a lot of the time, so like, okay, hold on. Let's let's have a look at our sword abilities again. After pairing with a sword, blind the attacker. Counter attacks with a sword inflict plus 50% damage. Uh, let me, you know what, let me move some stuff off this bar. What do we not really use? I guess, actually, I kind of use everything. We'll get the sword abilities back, and I think we do want to use the sword a lot of the time. Maybe we just switch back to the mace when it's, um... So I guess if that's the case, we probably want the sword abilities on the main bar. It's not. Hold on. I'm doing, doing a terrible job here. Soaring Heaven Slash goes there. Blessed Hammer goes here. And then... Berserk and home run. Yeah, because the, the sword does considerably more normal damage. Although I guess one more thing I ought to do then is pair pair it with this weapon so that we can, you know, do, do a switch stuff. Alright. Slash nearby enemies. Okay, only... It means nearby. I'm not allowed to target the, the cross. So I pushed up to very high parry. And I blinded him. I am not blinded. Okay, so just smash, right? Bash enemies good. Yeah, we're getting very high, uh, very high parry chance and then lots of damage off of our parrying. Seems pretty good. This is a good glimpse. These, uh, these abilities that we're getting from the Weapon Master statues are the normal Weapon Master abilities. So this is giving us a preview of what we will get if we want to invest a whole lot of job points with Dorito. Alright, one last campfire meet. Can't imagine we're going to see another one of these after floor 14. A brave bloody axe of acid. Imagine wielding a weapon that is just constantly spraying both blood and acid in all directions. Uh, you know what I should probably do is just stun him so that attack doesn't happen. Never mind. He was he was not stunned by my thing that is supposed to stun people. 
Yeah, he definitely just moved again immediately afterward. A killer bald-faced pest. So he is, like, actually terrifying. He's got the orange outlined skull. Banisher Avenger Frost Spike Toxic. That's definitely annoying. Uh, more than one of them. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. Okay, I will fight one of you at a time. Get our parry chance up. Blind the dude occasionally. This seems like an okay spot to fight. I'm gonna go up to 100% parry. He's gonna poison me. He's gonna continue poisoning me when he should be stunned. Stun apparently doesn't mean what it used to mean. And our survivability is pretty high with this build. Probably not anything to do here except just, never mind, I was about to say just walk forward. I do not have the enemy deleting power of the home run, but we're taking a, little, a lot less just normal damage. I'm just gonna stand in this poison apparently. Not really a lot else I can do. He's trying to banish us. Every time he says be gone, he's triggering his banisher trait, which pushes us away. But at the same time, he has placed ice walls behind us, preventing us from moving anywhere. Did that maybe just go away? Thank you. Alright, so I think we have here a legendary bomb frog, perhaps? Yeah, that's gonna have to come to an end. And I hate bomb frog. Right, slash him, just keep that parry chance up. I don't know if you can parry an explosion. You might actually be able to. That might be a real thing. Spending a lot of time walking places, not a lot of time stabbing the enemy, which is frustrating. Uh, we could lightning strike him. I suppose we may as well. We have three charges. It's not terrible. Yeah, this dude uh, takes forever to die. And also, I am sealed. All of the time. <laughs> huh. That's interesting. I tried to move and I just bounced in place. Uh, let's just be on the safe side here. Is this the most annoying enemy in all of history? I don't know, maybe. Honestly. <laughs> Seems possible. Okay. We have enough time to just walk out. And we hit you with the smite? Nope, I don't. Never mind, I'm always sealed. So close. I want to get greedy. Okay, well now we're in trouble. Jesus. Also, that thing turned around with no warning. Just eat some lowish quality food to recover slowly while we walk around. Yeah, we're definitely uh, not scaling up quite as quickly as they are. Okay, all that's left is armor training and then we get Sanctuary. Which, in situations like that, will give us a moment to breathe. And, like, use our... Uh, use our um, healing stuff and then use Sanctuary and just take take functionally zero damage for a couple of turns of healing ticking. Boy, he's um doing a really insane amount of damage. Like, what the hell kind of damage. Uh, we have four levels of shadow vulnerability. I'm actually going to die? I'm a little afraid to stun him. 
Yeah, we're actually gonna die. Okay, um... So we have to use a mint super brew. This is the kind of situation we're saving them for. And then I'm gonna use a scroll of teleportation to get us as far away as possible. This isn't too, too far from a... We use another one? We have to break line of sight, or we die. Okay. Now we need to run. It happened again. I definitely did not, um, did not say stand in place there. Stun you? Trying really hard to just give my stuff time to tick. Um, smite you to lower your damage. Blast you with lightning, because please die. Yeah, Jesus, what the hell? That was just a normal enemy. That wasn't even a, a, a champion. Just a guy who has, like, incredible base damage and the ability to make you vulnerable to his attack type. Bad times. I am really... Okay, hold on. Do we know where the stairs are? No. I'm really tired of the enemies in here. Right. Sealed 100% of the time. Okay. You know what? We're gonna teleport past this guy and we're just gonna run away. Uh, I am still sealed. So we're just gonna get hit by this bomb. <sighs> of course there's more champions in the next room. Including a Brawler Cobra. Okay. I'm gonna use... We don't have any Scrolls of Teleportation left. Oh, hold on. I, I went in through the Snack Bag interface. That is not where you can find the Scrolls of Teleportation. Are you kidding me? Dash the other side of the... The tornadoes are the most annoying thing in the entire universe. Yep. We're, we're gonna die... We're gonna die now. Because we can't control our position at all. How could we possibly survive this? We can lower the amount of damage we're taking to some degree by hitting this guy, but, like, all of the other enemies combined are irrelevant. They do less, they do far, far less damage than the Brawler Cobra. But we can't attack the Brawler Cobra under any circumstances because we can't control our position. Okay. We do this. We have to use another Mint Super Brew. And then we just run away. As fast as possible. Because, like, I have to let some of the shadow vulnerability uh, wear off. Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay, we're going to try teleporting around the corner. Alright, there we go. If, if, a t if a tornado had pushed us back at that moment, we would just be dead. We have been, uh, we have been on the border of death a lot here. Okay, he came over adjacent to us. This gives us a chance to try to kill him. Provided that we don't get interrupted in our attempt. But 100% parry. And then... I guess just hit him, maybe? Or, you know, cross slash to keep the parry going. Healing flask wore off, so reapply it. Okay. With him dead, we have way more of a chance of surviving combat. The tornadoes need to... Most frustrating thing in the whole universe. The stairs have to be here or here, because this is not... Right, this isn't actually a place I can go. Yeah. 
Um, if the enemy that... One thing that I think would help a lot with this is if the enemy that is producing the tornadoes isn't in vision of you, the tornadoes can't have an effect. It's like, it's pretty obvious that, that this is not how this should work. Heaven slash the dude. Alright. I mean, without the, without the Brawler Cobra attacking us, we're not really in that much danger. Okay, so the only way back is to go all the way back. These guys are annoying more than anything. The big danger here is that, um, that we will get bombed because the tornadoes will make it impossible for us not to be bombed. That's the real one up there. As you can see, these ones are marked as vulnerable. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. We're not supposed to be able to tell on mouse over. I need you to get out of my way. Is there any chance the escape could be up there? There is not, right? Yeah, okay, then I'm just gonna back off. Uh, okay, this is the real guy. We can at least try to fight him. God, I... I hate tornadoes so much. <laughs> and the thing is, like, they they can only pull you. They can only mess with you when you're standing on the same tile that they're on. But they can move... When you when you enter a move command, they can move after you do and, and pull you because you are now on the same tile they're on. I just got... That was a single move. I took almost 400 tornado damage there because it... They bounced me from tornado to tornado so many times. We have another teleport scroll. We have two more. Alright. Obviously, I don't want to use them, but, like... We may not really have a choice. We can't fight the frog, because we'll never be allowed to stand next to it. Yep, there is, in fact, a path down here. If you charge, uh, the, the default direction for the charge is always up. It looks like that's the that's the one position. And if, if you charge, if you press charge and then move your mouse at all, the charge sticks to the direction of your mouse. If you don't move your mouse at all, you charge upward, regardless of which direction your mouse is in, which is not great. Oh my god, the stairs. Also, the uh, the merchant of the floor. Remember how there's merchants and stuff? Remember the mechanics of this run? Alright, this is going better. This is what combat feels like. Let's see, situations like that are the reason that I uh, always want to stockpile lots of teleportation scrolls and instant healing items. Sometimes you get into a situation where, depending on your abilities, you may have literally no other way of surviving. All right, what do you have, man? Well, mint brews, we gotta take those. Jasu's marked cards are not a very good weapon for me. Uh, a shock ring. Of Concentration, Avarice, and Companions with bonus with more bonus stats on it, I think we ought to take. And then, like, I have a ton of money, so we should buy some stuff. An Inferno Potion. A Deflecting Filter. It's ten turns of, of a buff. Knight's Shovels for going around enemies. Scrolls of Protection. Okay. Let's uh, equip this over the other shock ring. So it has greater stats. Oh, hey. What do you know? We did get another campsite. Uh, let's eat some crummy food. That's how we'll go back to full. We'll cook one more campfire meat because we totally might need it. All right, here we go. Hate you, frog. Hate you so much. Right, we're 
we're gonna do this thing, just charge right through. Ah. That was actually uh 249 damage. Okay, um we gotta do a big a big immediate heal. And enable this as well. So there's no way for you to avoid this. He can cast it on top of you in a way that you actually can't do anything about. It's gonna hit me for 200, which is maybe not the end of the world. We like we gotta kill him. Obviously, this is a pretty pretty big deal. I'm taking constant poison damage. My defenses are lowered. I can never stand still because of the bombs. We could try shield slamming him to buy time, but the stun on this doesn't always work. Semi-frequently just don't get a stun. And then this happens, and I'm still full. So we have to teleport, but tele... I hit, um, I went to hit tab to open up the inventory, and I think I hit Q instead? And Q caused me to just stand perfectly still for a turn? Which I didn't realize was the function of Q? Q switches your weapon. So it doesn't, it doesn't do that. It doesn't make you stand still for a turn. What the hell did I press? Maybe I press W, oh. I just hit a, there's a, there's a collar toad here. What? Okay. So some things about this game are maybe a little bit buggy. There's a zero, a zero health collar toad here that I can't move. In fact, I can't move at all anymore. None of the movement keys do anything. Huh. Okay. Well, that was an interesting little detour that we got nothing out of, right? Because we, um... Because we didn't succeed, so we lost everything. Boy, what a what a great big thing just happened there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it here for today. I'm not upset. Why would you suggest that I'm upset? Uh, that's going to be it for us for right now. When we come back tomorrow, maybe we'll be able to move. Maybe. And we'll see you then.